hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i am taking you on a trip to african store so i'm going to show you the site of uh, los angeles as well the downtown area it is a very beautiful place we normally uh, do this once in a while we buy things in bulk so we go to the um to the african stores in los angeles sometimes i buy meat and um and turkey from uh, from the downtown area so and there are some african stores there so we go to the african stores and i'm going to show you where we shop uh the stores where we buy all those african things from so when i'm done i'm going to still show you the sites of uh, los angeles it's a very beautiful place there are lots of stores they sell different things then there's the skyscraper area there's there are offices there it's a very beautiful place so let's go We have been traveling for a while now. We are close to the downtown area. See, do you see those buildings almost touching the sky? Yeah, that's downtown. And this is early for you. Hold up. <laughs> it is not that early as a lot of hold up. Oh, the worst freeway is 405. Everybody in LA knows about 405. So, we are getting very, very close to where we are going to exit. So we're exiting right now. So I'm going to show you everything. See, you're going to see structures like this in downtown. That's the very interesting thing about this place. Don't worry, I'm not going to hide anything. I'm going to show you everything. I might not talk too much so that you can enjoy it. So I only talk when I need to say something. So we are in the market area of downtown. This is where they sell different goods. So this is to me, I think this is where America meets Mexico. <laughs> so this is where we buy the fish from. So I will take you inside. They sell spices, they sell meat in boxes. So you call ahead and they cut it up for you. We already called ahead. We bought some catfish and turkey. Did you see some Nigerians there? Anytime you come to this place, you, especially on the weekend, you will see lots of Nigerians. So we're done with the meat, we are going to the next store. There's one store around this area that uh, um, a Ghanaian had, but it's closed down. I don't know what happened. So this store we are going to, you'll be very surprised. It is owned by a Latino. Can you imagine that selling African food? You're going to be surprised uh, at what he has in his store. So let's go. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video, invite your friends. Thank you. I'm sure you are familiar with all these things you are seeing. Yes, we still enjoy Nigerian stuff here. This is dry corn. So relax. Yeah, our yams. We buy them in boxes. Sometimes they sell them individually. See everything. That's the owner of the store. See? Kilishi. <laughs> and uh, see, we have palm beer, palm wine. And all those bitter drinks, you know them. That is stock fish, they are different types. This one is the smaller size, then this one they are like the uh, shredded ones. Then of course, you know, that's melon. Most of these uh, fufu flower Ghanaian products. Banco is also a Ghanaian product. So this is palm oil and there is the banga sauce too. Mali cubes. Remember that lady from the other store? <laughs> we are back here together. <laughs> hey. 
see Chin Chin right there, Vanga Spice, Cameroon Pepper, is he actually call that Ugly Golden Moon? <laughs> you see everything, different spices. See Aya, Tiger Nuts. Yeah, well, this is the freezer section. See bread, I did not even notice that bread until now. You see different type of food. This is okra, zobo leaves. This is bonga fish. I turned it upside down. Upside down. That's um, tilapia. Yeah, this is the big, the whole uh, stockfish. Remember, we saw some smaller ones over there, the shredded ones, and the... so we are leaving. No, there are two. There's another store that belongs to an African, a Ghanaian. We like to patronize that to encourage her. So when we leave that store, we come to this store. To buy something to encourage her because the first time she started she was like down nobody was coming so we like to uh, patronize her we buy some there and we come here or sometimes we come here first then we go there the first thing i heard when i came in uh, was unzu see they sell similar things see st louis uh sugar so there are some things that are uniquely African that are here so whenever we come here it's like we are back home even the biscuits That is dried cassava, the one they used to make African salad. Zobo leaves. That's pepper soup spice. The negro pepper. See a goosey, obono, crayfish. Suya spice. Tunzapi. And the Derica, all the things we enjoy in Nigeria. <laughs> See, Nido. The one that surprised me is that cowbell. Cowbell, our milk. <laughs> oh, Kuli Kuli again. See? This is where we buy our African stuff. We buy them in box. So we come here like once in four months, five months. See another type of ayah, it's still the same ayah. See, count for. This is a way to do uba. So we are checking out. See, the first time she started, her store wasn't this big. So now we are going to the downtown area where those buildings are scraping the sky. <laughs> So this is the, uh, the fashion district, they sell a lot of merchandise, a lot of clothes, uh, fashion, things related to fashion. You have to go into the side streets, but this is like the main street. The first time when I came here, it was really the fashion district I went to before we were shown, uh, shown that place. So you see, we're getting closer, the buildings are getting taller. And they are really beautiful. Anytime I, whenever I drive through this area, I remember when I was going to nursing school. When I get on Figueroa, I just enjoy the building all the way because I drive like very early, it's still dark, and the lights very beautiful. And even during the daytime, it's still very beautiful. If you live in this downtown, you don't really need to live here. There's everything, hospital, school, everything, markets. You don't really need to live in this area. And like I showed you the other time, 
they are like homeless uh, makeshift structures scattered all over uh, downtown I don't really know why maybe because it's a very convenient place to live you don't have to travel very far to get all the things you need it is close to the hospital LAC USC and the market is there schools so you don't really have to travel very far we're going the one down thing about this downtown <laughs> isn't that funny <laughs> there are so many one-way streets when you get on the wrong street you have to drive a long way before you get off the street turn around it's really stressful so we're going to go through this tunnel see if i was the one driving this car god knows that i would have taken up <laughs> another route that would have scared the living daylight out of me <laughs> let's enjoy the tunnel Finally, <laughs> see beautiful buildings. Oh, I can do this all day. They're just magnificent. You wonder, these people that built this thing that must be very creative. It's, they are tall and very beautiful. There's one beauty that, that is my favorite. I'm going to show you when we get there. See? This is the handiwork of men. Shout out to all those that have subscribed. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I love you. Some of these buildings are residential areas, buildings too. So not all of them are offices. Just a quick reminder, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. I know we're enjoying it. Please click the subscribe button. Thank you. See this very, very, very high rise building. So I don't know which one is the tallest, but I really don't care. They are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to the place. See? Hey, see the walk of God's children. Oh, hey. Oh, do. Yeah, this is the oh my favorite. I love that building. See? Hey God. Now go to the night beauty this kind of fine thing. Hey God. So beautiful. I love this place. So we're like um, leaving, we're going to drive close to the, um, we're driving close to the Staples Center. It's a very popular place, everybody knows about the Staples Center, where the Lakers play their uh, games. Yeah, Staples Center, Staples Center right there, that's the Staples Center. So if you are new and yet to subscribe to my channel, please click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, invite your friends, share the video, like it, and thank you very much in advance. Oh, that's the convention center too. Another popular place in Los Angeles. So finally we are leaving the downtown, we are going back home. If you like this videos like this, please let me know, leave it in the comments so that I can make videos like this. So these are new buildings. 
so thank you guys for watching stay safe stay blessed till i see you next time i love you bye